Welcome back to Let's Play Valis, and Yuko has now found herself in a strange and wondrous place. Hint, it is never a dream. It's really more of a waking nightmare, come to think of it. You know, for all of the localization problems this has had, I am surprised they used Eves correctly. I'm huge! Well, not really. This is Valia. Oh, by the way, it's called Fantasy World in this game and Dreamland in the English version of Valis 3. But the most accepted translation is Dream World. Anyway, this is just how Valia likes to appear, and she has a rather dubious reputation because her relationship with Yuko, especially at this point, is not especially based on the truth. She never outright lies, but she does omit important information, like who she really is, why Yuko has to wield the sword, and how she knew where Yuko was. The answer to all of these is that Valia is Yuko's biological mother. And Yuko's twin sister is Valna, Princess of the Dream World. Yuko was not the favorite. See, what did I say? Okay, here's where Valia gets a little bit vague and even a bit confusing, so here's the exposition summary. The cosmic uh, balance is being thrown out of whack due to the fact uh, that an evil wizard king named Roglas has gained uh, some degree of mastery over the darker energies underpinning the universe, and uh, these um, uh, experiments are causing all kinds of nasty things to help happen elsewhere, like wars and other disasters. Normally there would be mystical forces that would oppose this kind of meddling, but... Roglas actually sealed those in a powerful artifact called the Phantasm Jewel, broke it up and spread the pieces among his trusted generals. So Yuko's mission is to take out the generals, get the pieces of the Phantasm Jewel back together, and release its power to destroy Roglas. Now, Valia has given Yuko one hell of a scalpel to dissect Roglas with, because in this setting, man fought against the power of the gods and won, and they won for two reasons. Two reasons. One was the Sword of Valis, which Yuko has, and the other is uh, the uh, Sword of Alethus. Oh, <coughs> hold on. Metal Gear? The uh, Sword of Lethus, which is actually in the hands of the main villain of uh, Valis Three. Of course, Valia isn't exactly doing Yuko a huge favor by making her the Valis Warrior, as the path of the Valis Warrior is one that is lined with eternal battle and sorrow. Ah, those eyes are creepy. Yeah, we actually just killed one of them, so that brings it down to four.
No, oh, really? You already had the Valus Sword of... Uh, hmm. Wonder why she can't use it. Kinda is. I won't do your knife work. <laughs> Only the tainted heretic would refuse service to the light of Valia. Zorch. It's the girl in gold? Everything! <laughs> Argument will only compound your heresy. Okay, a few things. Number one, our defense has not increased. Number two, this is an ice level where we don't slip around. I know you would have killed for that in Valus 3 or any given Mega Man game. And... While I know that pretty much all magical girls are conscripts, most of the time it doesn't involve Warhammer 40k logic. The only reason she wouldn't want to fight hordes of bloodthirsty demons is because she too is being corrupted by the ruinous powers. Anyway, I'm high jumping here because sometimes uh, power-ups are hidden off-screen of uh, the normal uh, screen advancement if you just run forward. Like there. And the thing is, as I may have mentioned before, Valia had a perfectly reasonable uh, argument, which is, yes, it is your business, when I threw you the sword, you were about to be jacked by a general of hell and a few dozen of his friends. Anyway, we now have a use for magic, because every time you kill a boss, you get a piece of the Phantasm Jewel, and each piece gives you a new spell. These are usually damaging, but there is one very useful protection spell uh, that uh, we will get actually after the boss of level 3. Ah, parallax scrolling. I remember when this was a big deal. And we should be- oh, boss is right now! This is actually harder than the previous boss, thankfully. Oh yes, your invincibility time after a hit isn't just limited uh, to uh, while you're still, um, you know, phased out. Oh, I glitched the boss. Well, that's the end of that. See you next time.